Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to uh, Planet Crafter and Meets in UK. So uh, I've been out collecting lots and lots and lots and lots of resources. And um, yeah, we're doing quite well. I mean, we sent a rocket up into space and brought down lots of uh, radioactive meteorites. We've got a this fantastic nuclear reactor here, which is giving us oodles of power. We've got this water catcher, which, oh my god, I mean, it's it's sure making water gathering a lot easier, that's for sure. Um, we've got this massive biodegradable thing going on over here. Do you know, I've just realised I can get in there. And I've just realised that the ice has melted. Oh my god. Right, this is going to be a big episode. My plan was to uh, make our fantastic base look even more fantastic than it already does. But I think I may have just changed my mind. What do I need for this? Iron, titanium and silicon. Okay. We might need a new locker here. squeeze one in there. I'm going to try and squeeze one in over here. Because we're going to have a new set of uh, minerals to play with. Look at this. Osmium. We've got it. At last. So obviously we've got the temperature up above 100 degrees. Oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? Sulfur. I bet that stinks. Osmium and sulfur. Right, so it hasn't... It hasn't melted all the way. To me, like it's still melting very slowly, but we've got our first little bits of osmium and sulfur, and that's pretty awesome. No idea what we can do with them yet. I'm sure it's very cool. I'm sure it's super duper cool. That's all in there. I really wish I could turn my head a bit faster. Okay, right, let's ditch some of this water. And uh, let's see what I need. So I need a couple of titanium, a couple of cobalt, a couple of silicon, a couple of mags. I don't think I need ice, but I'll take it anyway. A couple of iron. Right, here we go. I didn't realise that I'd locked myself out of this thing. Of course, of course. What's on this computer then? Show interface. It's a bio lab. A biology and chemistry lab allows craft the bio recipes. Algae generator, biomass rocket, flower spreader tier 2, food grower tier 2, tree spreader, tree spreader, oh okay. So we're going to turn this into an archipelago, aren't we? I have absolutely no idea what I can do with that. <laughs> no, not a clue what I'm supposed to do with that at all. But this is quite a nice little... Uh, building. What I'd really like to do is turn the base into something a bit more spectacular. Um, I'll be honest, I was so expecting a flood that I was kind of just chucking stuff together and not really worrying about how it looked. But now, you know, 
doesn't seem like we are going to sink or get flooded. Although, liquid water is arriving in 20%, however long that takes. So anyway, we've got osmium. We have sulphur. The ice is melting, ever so slowly. Starts melting at 5 pk. Okay. So there's more osmium there. I think I know of one more cave. And I think we should head over there and uh, do our best. Remember life before um, before jetpack? <laughs> what a difference! Now I have weakened, and I have read the developers' future plans, and um, two things two key things that I take from, I've taken from that. I was deliberately avoiding reading it because I didn't want to sort of spoil any surprises, but um, I know for a fact that there are no aliens at all, planned or otherwise. No weapons, no shooty shooting, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. Two things that really stood out though were the fact that there are going to be no uh, rocket journeys to other planets. And I think, personally, I think that's a mistake. I hope they change their mind on that, because it makes so much sense to allow that. Oh yeah, look at this. Loads of stuff. Uh, they are going to introduce a vehicle. I think it's a good idea. They're going to make the map 50% bigger. Oh yeah, look at all this cool stuff. What is this? Oh, that's sulfur. Okay. So we're going to have to come back here and grab all of this stuff. There's loads of them. Absolutely tons of it. Yeah, I think, you know, even as a DLC feature, I think building a spaceship here and jetting off to a DLC um, is a great idea. It keeps the game fresh, you know, different environment, different hazards, different dangers. I think at some point having some alien species might be a good idea, but then you know, other games have tried that and done it really badly. So it's, it's a big answer for a small little team, I suppose. There's one other thing as well which really stood out to me. I can't remember what it was now. When I started this conversation, I Spit out of my head. Which is more annoying for me than it is for you. But if I remember what it is, I'll uh, be sure to tell you. Right, that's offload. Oh, that's food. Oh, this one. Turns out we do have some food items. 
Oh yeah, we got some more of those uh, runner beam things. That's really cool. Right, okay, so I did unlock something new. Here we go. Nope, not a drill. No, nope, not a drill. Come on, game. A bio lab. Double osmium super alloy in aluminium. This base look better than it does. Can't really do it until. Uh, whoa! I pressed the jetpack button, but it did need work. And grab some it sweet. Make myself feel better. Right. So, where is that thing? There it is, the bio lab. Why does that not work properly? We need one more super alloy. <laughs> Damn it, it works. Right, so can I connect this onto that thing? I think it will let me, you know. Something like that. Maybe if I build a door here, it will connect better. That's pretty smart, isn't it? Oh look, it's raining. <coughs> it's raining again. Look at this! Wow! I have no idea. What's this thing? What the hell? Fertilizer, fertilizer tier 2, explosive powder, mutagen, bacteria samples. I need algae. Now, I'm not going to get algae until we've got water. So that must be the direction that we're heading in. This game is so cool. Because I very much feel like we're going to need to store a lot more stuff. How are we doing with the water situation? 85%. It's raining quite a lot now. Sulfur, 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 sulfur. I'll take some bio stuff. Start setting this up. I'm gonna I'm gonna rebuild this whole base. I'm gonna do like a maybe a whole episode on it or something. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's put a one of these in. And uh, where should we put it? I think up against that wall. Yeah, up against that wall. It's the only logical place for it. That. I put it in backwards. I hate it when I do that. Right, so there's a few bits in there. We're not going to have any algae for a while.
rain has stopped, so we're not going to have a flood today. some bobs in there. Bioplastic nugget. Fertilizer. Explosive powder and mutagen. This is just taking on such a whole new look and feel now. I think it's really cool. I'm going to get some more drills in, I think. Um, ah, this thing. I haven't started with this yet. The ore extractor. Uh, what was it? Two of those. Iridium rod, aluminium, titanium, and super alloy. Okay, let's go see if we've got these bits and bobs. I'm pretty sure we're going to reach the next stage in the next couple of minutes. What will happen then is absolutely beyond my knowing at this point in time. I uh, need a bit of titanium. No titanium in there. Have a quick look. Where are we at? 88.7%. Almost there. So I've got my little mining machines over on the hill, which I quite like. I don't know how big this thing is, but if I could fit it there, it would be excellent. Yes, I can. Hydration is critical. Um, problem solved. Right. Uh, there it is. <laughs> I need two bottles of water. Oh, hang on. What am I doing? I need water from here. Oh, right. 
nuclear reactor number two coming up. That should get everything running. Eighty-nine point seven per cent. No new messages. Power is okay. I think we could probably do with another one of those, couldn't we? So the pressure unlocks stuff. Nuclear reactor tier two. So if we get more drills. Five MPA. So we're a long way off that. So I need to get some more drills in the ground. What do drills take? I think they need aluminium, right? Iron, titanium, and aluminium. So let's go. Double iron. See if we can. See if we can do two. so cool the more you play it the more you like it and what, you can't you can't say that for many games can you oh, son of a bitch and it sounds like the weather's turning for the worst And it looks absolutely fine to me. Don't know what all the fuss is all about. Okay, so we've managed to get two in there. That's going to increase our productivity by quite a bit. It doesn't look like there's any way to tell it what to drill for. I don't know. We'll see. We'll come back and check on it in a bit and we'll see what's happened. We must be close to standing water now. green beans so much, they're so effective. Okay, so let's put some green beans in there, put some more green beans in there, and uh, we'll go for the squash seeds. So we're now fully self-sufficient in terms of food. No problems with that whatsoever. Okay. 
in a pretty good place right now. So we've got the rocket that we can send up into space and um, request green ore. at 25 kilograms. 25 kilograms, okay. Any second now, look at this. 25 kilograms of what? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> 25 kilograms or something. We're definitely making progress now. How's the pressure looking? 84.4, that's definitely going up a lot faster. Probably do with a couple more of those. But let's see what happens when we get to liquid water stage. That's a pretty exciting development, isn't it? We have rain, and soon we'll have liquid water. for that nuclear reactor. Ah, the uranium rod. Have I got enough to make another one? Yes, I have. this come in, see if anything happens. I'm still expecting a flood. That's why I think we were told to build high. What's going to happen, I wonder? 